Hey there, and welcome back to my channel, Weirdly OCD. This is the first of at least three parts of the Spring Clean 2019 mini-series here on my channel. Last week, if you watched my video, you know that I kind of kicked this off with letting you know what I was going to do, what I planned on doing, um, and kind of the in-depth of what's going to happen in this mini-series. Uh, today, I am going to start in the one of two places that I don't really care to clean. One of those is the bathroom, and the other is obviously where I'm at right now, the kitchen. Um, I think I don't like cleaning the kitchen um, too much because there's just so many nooks and crannies and things that uh, dirt and dust and you know loose food or something that gets dropped can get into. Um, and honestly, you really only think about those areas, um, you know, once in a great while. So it builds up. Um, not to mention, realistically, we all have lives. We work. We have things going on. So it's not like we can, you know, pull our refrigerator out, you know, once a week and, you know, vacuum behind it and mop the floor underneath it and all that stuff. But it's spring. And the traditional spring clean time, I feel, has gotten here. So, we're going to roll up our sleeves, and as much as I don't want to do this room, I figured we'll start with the worst and work our way backwards to the easiest. So, if you want to clean with me, that would be awesome. If you want to just sit back and watch, grab a drink, grab a snack, that'd be great too. Um, I'm going to put some, possibly some information and some tips and stuff at the bottom of the screen where I feel it will be appropriate along with kind of intermittently showing you things that I'm going to be doing to kind of make my cleaning a little easier this coming next year. Um, also, if I show you any new products that I've bought, I will make sure to tell you where I got them, how much they were, um, and things like that. Um, a lot of the video is probably going to be speed cleaning, but as I said, I will come in from time to time and let you know what I'm doing or why I'm doing a certain thing a certain way or changing something. So with that, let's get started by cleaning out this baby. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the refrigerator and the freezer and check dates on everything. If it is very close to being expired, probably within the next couple of days, or if it's unfortunately already expired, we're gonna toss it. So let's go. Like a bird on a tree, I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me we meant to be Outdoors, forever free. All right, now that I went through all the expiration dates and chucked what uh, is either bad or upcoming bad, I can take everything else out and start cleaning. Now, I'm going to clean the shelves, of course, but I thought of a what I think is kind of an ingenious idea, and I'm sure people have done this before on YouTube, but um, I went to my local store, my no local dollar store, and bought just some simple shelf and storage liner, not like the peel and stick or anything like that, but the plastic um, kind. This is an 18 inch wide by 4 feet long roll, and I have two of them, and I'm going to use these to line the shelves of the refrigerator. 
That way, if I want to clean the fridge out or something spills, I don't have to mess with taking the drawer out or the shelf out and trying to get in all the nooks and crannies of the drawer pieces and all that. I can just take the liner out and wipe it down or wash it here in the kitchen sink and put the liner back. I feel like that's going to save me a lot of time and definitely a lot of headache. I want to go on record for saying how great these magic erasers are and these aren't even the brand name these are the generic um, and I'm using them to get kind of these tough stains out on the shelves here in the refrigerator and they are working so good um, I got four of them for like two dollars and something and they're amazing they're amazing it just gets everything so clean and looking brand new again. So if you've never tried Magic Eraser or, e or even the generic uh, <clears throat> to it, try it. Because I'm telling you, this and just a little bit of soap and water, you don't even really need to use any chemical related cleaner. Just some Dawn dish soap and water. These work great. So we're going to take just a little break from cleaning the refrigerator. I'm going to measure the shelves and the inside of the drawers for the shelf liner. So obviously you don't want to measure the entire width and length if you want to do something similar to this. You just want to measure the inside length and width. That way you know what to cut your shelf liner to. I just cut the first piece of shelf liner and for the drawer and it actually fits pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and measure for the shelves here. And I only have to measure once because the shelves in our refrigerator are all the same width and same length. So once I measure it once, I can just use that first cutout to cut the rest of them out. So we'll do that and we'll see how it turns out. I have the first liner cut for one of the four shelves and I think it looks pretty good. It's a tad bigger than the glass on the shelf but that's okay because it'll lay flat after a little while. I mean it's been rolled up on that roll for who knows how long. So it'll flatten itself out plus when groceries go on top of it it'll help flatten it even more uh, quicker. But all I did was I just had a tape measure, a pen, and a pair of scissors. And when I cut it, I cut it the entire length of the roll. So if my width or length stopped maybe here, I still cut 
all the way to the end of the roll. That way I would have a straight line to start the next measurement with. Um, that way it wouldn't be like a piece here and then the rest of this is cut to the length of this, if that makes sense. That way I'm starting with a straight end piece and not having to cut around where I cut the previous measurements. Now we're going to tackle one of the worst parts of the fridge that I hate doing and that's like this front edge at the bottom. You can see that once stuff gets spilt on the fridge, of course you think to clean the shelves and whatnot, but you don't ever think to clean down here. And that's obviously apparent on our refrigerator, so we are going to tackle that right now. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me We meant to be in the great outdoors Forever free As you can see, it is not 100% perfect, but it is a hell of a lot better than it was at the beginning of this clip. I'm so happy that it came out that good. And that is, like I said, the magic of just a magic eraser. I did that with that and just some Lysol cleaning spray. I ran out of shelf liner, but that's okay. I got the main shelves in the fridge done and the roll was actually the perfect depth for this big shelf on the bottom all I had to do was cut the length and then I did get the one drawer down here but the drawer that goes here like I said I ran out of shelf liner paper so coming up I will do that this coming up week um, so now all I got to do is just clean out these and clean out the freezer and we will be good to go. Now that the fridge and freezer is officially cleaned out and all the expired or soon to be expired stuff has been tossed, it's time to do the top of the fridge and move it away from the wall and do underneath and behind it, especially um, the grate on the back of the fridge because that can get dusty and I don't know for an absolute fact, but I'm pretty sure that could be a fire hazard. So let's get to doing that. I need to go and take a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell. Before I get to cleaning the top of the fridge, I just want to show you this how dusty a top <clears throat> the top of a refrigerator can get. You can see where all these items were on the top of the fridge that we were displaying. So we're just going to take some of this Lysol cleaner here and we're going to take this lovely magic eraser and clean it. Look at how great this thing works. I know I've been harping on this, but this is one of the best cleaning tools that you could possibly invest in. Look at that. It is brand new. Not to mention the Lysol cleaner gives it a nice scent. 
look at how clean this is getting. And I'm honestly not putting a lot of uh, effort behind it. I mean a little bit on the sections that are more dirty, but look at how that changed. Look at that. Just amazing. Thankfully, this is on wheels. I wanted to show you just how dirty underneath and behind a refrigerator can get. There's the floor underneath the refrigerator. Look at the baseboard. It's white, but you can see black spots all along it. This is definitely going to get a wipe down with the magic eraser. Along with, you can see some spots on the wall here. Kind of. Sorry, it's a little dark. It's supposed to be raining today, so we've got some overcast with some clouds. But you can see a dark spot there. A dark spot there and this back here is going to get wiped down especially this here you want to keep this free as much as you can of dust lint uh, dog or cat pet fur um, definitely going to be taking care of this so I wipe down this wall and it looks a bit better I know you can't really tell because of the lack of light in here um, but I wiped that all down up here underneath the cabinets that's a little small opening between the bottom of the cabinet and the wall um, but this has all gotten clean here here also I forgot to mention you make want to make sure that you are cleaning off plugs outlet sockets all that so they're free of dust and pet hair and all that stuff. Now since I have the refrigerator pulled away from the wall I'm gonna take advantage of this and scrub down the front of the cabinets because we do not have a hood range in our kitchen so we don't have a place for the evaporation from the stove and grease and stuff like that to go so the cabinets can get kind of dirty pretty quickly so I'm going to take advantage and use the last magic eraser to start scrubbing down the cabinets. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time The tops of the cabinets here, the tops of the door is where they tend to be the dirtiest because honestly I don't think to clean that it's not in front of my face every day so I don't really see it Also, the sides here of the door, those tend to go get missed too. Especially here right above the stove. This is where the stove is under these two cabinets. So I feel like they would probably be the worst. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free better. I know you probably can't see it on camera, but 
there was just kind of like a black streak and it's not something you could see every day but it was just a black streak here from all the stuff from the stove rising up towards the ceiling but it looks so much better plus this will give me an opportunity to clean the plates that are hanging on the wall paint is somewhat coming off on the paper towel but that's okay I mean it's not coming completely off the wall but it's because I'm scrubbing to get this grease off so you got to do what you got to do <laughs> So about an hour has passed um, from the last clip that you just seen. I stopped to have some lunch and just kind of take a little bit of a break, get a drink, relax. Um, so we're going to get back at it. I'm going to, well, let me catch you up on what I've done so far. So I finished above the cabinets and wiping the cabinets down. That is done, and I'm so glad it is done. Um, I took a little bit of elbow grease, but it looks a lot lot better <clears throat> and of course at the end of this video I will show you a full pan of the kitchen and dining room when it's done uh, but now I'm going to move on to cleaning the top of the stove kind of the back pulling it out away from the wall underneath I am hoping that it is not as bad as underneath the refrigerator was but it probably will be uh, but it is what it is I'm prepared so I'm gonna clean behind that um, and then we're just going to kind of go through the cabinets, see what uh, maybe we want to keep, what we don't want to keep. Um, as I said in last week's video, uh, which was kind of the kickoff to this, is that I'm going to be going through stuff to seeing what we could put towards a garage sale. Um, and then once we get that done, we'll sweep and mop the kitchen, and then we will move here into the dining room. So here's just a prime example as to why it stinks not having a range over our oven. So this small cabinet here, the single cabinet, is actually removable 
it goes between the fridge and the uh, stove there and this is all grease from the stove top and stuff that's gotten stuck to it from the stove top that's maybe like you know jumped out of a pan or pot stuff like that so this definitely and then it you know runs down you can't get to it so we are just going to spray and scrub the heck out of this to get it clean Okay, this looks, oops, forgot to dry that, or wipe that part off there. But this looks a thousand times better than what it did just a little bit ago. Oh, I'm so happy. This is where the cabinet that I just cleaned the side of and the top and the oven are sitting. You can see where the cabinet sits and where the oven sits and how just dirty it can get underneath this and behind it. Um, I really should clean it a lot more than I do obviously as you can see so we're going to take care of that right now. to sweep this and sweep for it and not do so much actual unnecessary hard labor but some of this stuff is really sticking to the floor so I want to use elbow grease to get it up but then I do plan on sweeping it and swiffering it. honestly just dust some of it is grease and stuff that's splattered over the side but it's all coming off pretty easy because most of it's just dust and I'm just gonna let that sit there for just a couple moments just kind of let it soak in and then we're gonna wipe that up it looks a heck of a lot better I also took advantage in Cleaning the sides here. Whoops, it's cleaning the sides along here while this is up. Cleaning this part in here while this is up. 
Now we do have a self-cleaning oven so I'm obviously not going to record that because that takes several hours to do. Um, but I do intend on doing that.